Hello, Tony. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Very, very fine. You okay. and you? I'm okay. I'm okay. What about your weekend? How was it? Um, the weekend was not enough to recover all my Oh, pain. my God. Really? <laughs> no, it's so busy with my family, but it's, it's good. Okay. It was good. Okay, that is perfect. Okay, so um, let's see. Well, uh, today, well, it has been really hot. Yes. It rained. Actually, it rained, but it was not uh, that long, right? Um, a few uh, drain of go ¿Cómo se dice? gotas de lluvia. A, a drop. few drop rain. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, when when this happens... Um, the vapor is more more harder and it is harder. Um, and in place that be more colder is more hotter because the vapor of the vapor of water um I don't know like explode all the the, yes. the, the 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 hot water yes um I don't I don't really like the that type of weather right I mean it is um uncomfortable sometimes right yes, yes of course okay perfect i'm glad that you had a really good weekend tony busy okay. with my family but very busy, good. but very good yes that's actually the uh, the main purpose right i think mm -hmm. you enjoy it yes so um well good evening emerson we have emerson we also have luis miguel we also have kenya Right. Well, guys, uh, we're going to start with today's class. And today we're almost done with the book. OK, we're almost done. Uh, we still have some um, things to cover from the book, but we are going to finish with the book today. All right. Um, let me know if you have some issues with the platform, guys, because I have seen that some of you have not started with the platform. OK. So if you have issues with the platform, let me know. Yes, I have one. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Um, I think that my microphone, my microphone was um closed. Um, I have one issue with the platform because I, I don't uh, have enough time to 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 resolve all, mm -hmm. but I'm making that. I have a trouble in the part number to to complete the one hundred percent. Let me see where is the problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me know so I can check. Okay. Okay, in the weekend, in the week number two. Week um, number two. The chance in all schools progress. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am driving. You're I'm driving? Okay, yes. perfect. Thank you, Tilio. I will be listening for okay. a moment. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yes. Uh, uh, so let, what, let me know. What are the the four piece? The question number five in the 2.2 two task. 2.2. Two. Two point two. Give me one second, okay? Just let me. Two point two. Two point two tasks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so um, the answer I try with with different option. Uh, the the number of the uh, of the four piece product price place and promotion. Um, I uh, I will try uh, uh, describing uh, the market the the, um, uh, the 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 mean of the four piece in, in another way. But every every um, option that we I that I was take was take. It's wrong. What is the right answer? The, the, yes, the right answer. Yes. Okay. So in this case, um, okay. So the first one, uh, it is place. Yes, place. The second is promotion. promotion the third price. Price product. Uh -huh. Okay. And, and number, number five. five. Uh -huh. The number okay. five. I, 
I uh, write the four piece that mm -hmm. I write it before and it, it was wrong with mm -hmm. commas, without commas, with the point at the end of the um, uh, of the um, sentence. I don't yes. know, I by different options. Okay, so um, can you please type product, comma, price, comma, mm -hmm. place, comma, yes. promotion, period. Uh, okay, and promotion. Mm -hmm. I'd write and promotion, point. Oh, no, no, without and. <sighs> yes, without and. Okay, it's okay right now. Okay, and do you have uh, the other ones correct? The ones, um, the inventory, payment plans, mm -hmm. retail? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Uh, is there any other exercise where you have some issues? No, not me. Um, I feel, um, how do you say, when you are angry or, or disgusting with something that you can do very well, and, Estaba como frustrado. I, I yes, was frustrated. frustrated. Oh, no puede yes. ser. Okay, <laughs> yes. Tiene right. tiempo, tiempo, no tenía tiempo, pero bueno. Okay, okay. okay. All right, so um, guys, if you find this type of situations, just let me know, okay? And I will go ahead and give you like maybe uh, the way it is, right? On the platform, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anybody else, guys, that may have some issues with any exercise from the platform? No? Hi. Hi. You. Okay, Carla, tell me. Oh. Uh, wait, what's good? Yes. Okay, mute there. Mute exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I in the mid there in the mm -hmm. part four I can't do the I I don't understand. It says a uh, where it says complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough. Mm -hmm. Ah okay. So the first one it says the place is strategy right and you need to type. You need to type this. The place a strategy demands enough channels of distribution. I'm going to send the whole sentence so you use copy and paste. Okay. Ah, uh, it's the whole sentence. The whole sentence. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, number two is going to be that one. Number three is going to be retailers will stock enough goods and sell them mm -hmm. and then number four is going to be warm enough yeah it's, it's, uh, yeah. It's enough it. okay uh -huh. try try in this way carla and let me know if that works okay 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 somebody else that may have some issues with the platform Um, if not, just uh, maybe a friendly reminder, guys, that please work on the platform, okay? Because I'm seeing some some of you that have not started with the platform. Let me see. We see. <laughs> okay. All right. Perfect. Um. Okay, guys. Just keep in mind that, okay, remember that this is going to be not the last week because we still have one class on Monday next week, but try to finish with the platform this week, all right? So let's see, we are going to have today's agenda. We have the warm up, then we are going to cover this interesting topic, which is the loyalty pyramid, listening quiz. We have one and we have two reading quizzes today. And we also have the speaking time that today, yes, we are going to practice speaking. So uh, let's start with um, the warm up. Okay, so as a warm up, we have marketing vocabulary. And I will ask for Tony, can you please read the first picture and the meaning and everything, the word? And then the second one, Carla Sofia, please. Okay. okay. Marketing vocabulary, persuasion, 
the power to influence a deep conviction or belief. The seminar teaches techniques of persuasion to increase sales. Very good, thank you. Uh, a practice a practice following in ah uh, enthusiastically mm -hmm. okay. for a short time a crease. The mini dress was a fall of pain once told to be finished, but now it is making a comeback. A comeback. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So when it comes to marketing vocabulary, we have different words. So the first one right here is going to be persuasion. Yeah, persuasion. And this means the power to influence a deep convi conviction or belief. And the seminar teaches techniques of persuasion to increase sales. Yeah, persuasion. So this one is a, a word that we can use in marketing. Okay, so persuasion, to influence, yes? Now, what is the meaning of a fad, fad, yes? What is it? Well, in this case, it's going to be a craze. And what is a craze? Fad and craze are synonyms for trend. Do you know what is a trend? Tendencia. Una tendencia, una moda. Yeah. Pero craze lo había oído como, como una variación de crazy, maybe, no. N not exactly. It is going to be um, most likely uh, like trend. It is a synonym for trend. Uh -huh. okay. But it's not that used. Uh -huh. Yes. So and in this case, yes. How do you say faith or fad? Fad. Fad, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. fad. Yes, it is a practice followed enthusiastically enthusiastically yeah. yeah so in this case remember that every single word that ends in kali we say it cli we omit letter a yeah enthusiastically enthusiastically for a short time a craze yeah the mini dress was a fat once thought to be finished, but now it is making a comeback. Mm -hmm. All right. So then we also have two other words. Um, okay, Tony, help us reading this one, please. And uh, I don't know if we have, oh, yes, Carlos Omar, this one. Okay, competition. A contest or struggle. We are in competition with four other companies for the contract. Yeah. Happening at the present time now. Uh, currently, over five thousand students are enrolled enrolled on the course. Thank you. Okay, guys. A uh, competition. Yes, competition. It is a contest. What is a contest? Un certamen. Um, uh -huh. Un certamen, un concurso, concurso right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is a struggle? Eh, como enfrentamiento. Un enfrentamiento, una lucha. Very good. So, and competition is the same as that, all right? A contest, a struggle. Yes, and we have, we are in competition with four other companies for the contract. And we also have currently. What is the meaning of currently? Uh, like actually, como actualmente. Um, yeah, yes, but actually it means in realidad and currently is actualmente. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So happening at the present time or now, and we have currently over 500 students are enrolled. And what is the meaning of enroll on the course? Um, like when, you, when you are contracting in, in one uh, company? Uh, okay. Uh, yes. 
And um, we can say that it's going to be like suscrito. Suscrito, okay? Suscrito. In this case, in education, enrolled means matriculado. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we can also say that enroll means registrado, suscrito, matriculado. Okay. Very good. So we have this type of words that we can use in marketing. All right. So now let's move and let's start with the loyalty pyramid. Yeah. What is it? Have you heard about this before? The loyalty pyramid? Now, Carla, help us reading the definition, please. Okay. The loyalty uh, pyramid. Pyramid. The loyalty pyramid, also known as the customer loyalty pyramid, is a marketing model, model that categorizes customers mm -hmm. based, based on based on their level of loyalty towards a brand or business. The pyramid mm -hmm. is typically 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 typically, <laughs> typically divide, divided divided into different types. Mm -hmm. uh, each representing a different level of customer loyalty. Okay. The higher up the pyramid a customer is the more loyal and commuted they are the brand. The yeah. loyalty pyramid is used by business to understand their customer base. Mm -hmm. Identify their most loyal customers and develop strategies to retain and grow their loyalty. Loyalty, okay. Mm. All right. Uh, okay, pronunciation, okay? Pyramid. 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 Uh, tears. Tears. What is the meaning of tears, guys? Uh, tiers is like saying levels, like uh, stages. Yes, tiers. Uh -huh. yes. So basically, this one is in marketing, okay? In, in marketing is a model, yes? That we use to categorize customers based on their level of loyalty towards a brand or a business, okay? This is um, a great tool, okay, for marketers, okay? So the higher up the pyramid a customer is, the more loyal and committed. What is the meaning of committed? Comprometido, all right? The more loyal and committed they are to the brand. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the loyalty pyramid is used by businesses to understand their customer base, identify their most loyal customers, and look at this, develop a strategies to retain and grow their loyalty. Of course, the loyalty pyramid is really useful. Now let's talk about the types of brand loyalty according to the pyramid. Okay, so let's talk about all of them, one by one. Jose, are you there? Hello. Yes, help us reading switchers. Okay. Switchers. No, no loyalty whatsoever to a brand. This doesn't mean they are not loyal to your brand. It means they aren't loyal. They aren't loyal to any brand. They don't care what brand they buy. They grab the first thing off the shelf, and the next time they buy the, they buy. They may not even remember or care what they bought last time. They have 
no problem at all switching brands. Hence the name. Hence the name. Okay, guys, the switchers. Okay, think about yourself, right? So which type of, you know, customer um, you are. In this case, we have the switchers. So it says no loyalty whatsoever to a brand. What is the meaning of whatsoever? Whatsoever means in lo absoluto. No loyalty whatsoever. Okay? No hay lealtad en lo absoluto to a brand. Of course, this doesn't mean they are not loyal to your brand. What does it mean then? It means they aren't loyal to any brand. Are you that type of customer, the switchers? It says, they grab the first thing off the shelf and the next time they buy, they may not even remember or care what they bought last time. They have no problem at all switching brands, hence the name. What is that phrase? Hence the name. Hence the name means de ahí el nombre. They, because de ahí el nombre. They have no problem at all switching brands. That's why we they, call them switchers. All the time as changing her mind or that way that her, that the people think. And this is... Uh, the 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 meaning of uh, interchange or, or or not have uh, enough firmly or, or um, loyalty loyalty to to the other brands correct so for example let's say that um i don't know maybe sometimes that happens a lot whenever you buy things in the supermarket right so let's say that you buy mm, what can you buy in the supermarket that could be any brand Let's say, let's say, just as, as an example, right? Toilet paper, right? So sometimes you don't care about the brand sometimes, right? You just grab whatever you think is the, the cheapest one. You grab it and that's it. And then the next time that you probably have more money, you buy the other one. I mean, you don't care about the brand. You switch products and you don't really care, right? Because it doesn't matter. Yeah, so the switchers. Yes. Sometimes that happens with different products, right? That you switch. You uh, probably buy uh, in one place and then you buy in another place and then you try another place and you then go to another store and like that, right? So you are just buying because you like uh, something, but you don't care about the brand. So you are a switcher. Yes. Sometimes, yeah, we do that, right? So then, let's see. We also have the satisfied or habitual buyers. Can you please help us uh, reading this information? Um, well, I see that. Juan Jose, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, can you please help us reading the satisfied or habitual buyers? Okay, satisfied or habitual buyers. This person tends to buy one brand, but isn't positionate about it as the name suggests. They buy the brand out of habit. They're reasonable, reasonably, no sé cómo se dice, satisfied and don't see any reason to switch. Uh -huh. But if they have issues, finding their their typical brand they are happy to simple buy from a different brand rather than making a unusual effort to seek out their typical brand thank you okay so okay the satisfied buyers yes this person tends to buy one brand but isn't passionate isn't passionate about it, okay? As the name suggests, they buy the brand out of habit. They are reasonably, reasonably satisfied and don't see any reason to switch. But 
if they have issues finding their typical brand, they are happy to simply buy from a different brand rather than making an unusual effort to seek out. What is the meaning of seek out? Look for. What is the meaning of look for? Find. Yes. Okay. So seek out means buscar. Yes. So their typical brand. For example, well, I don't know in this case, I think that men, you do have one type of brand that you are probably loyal to, you're loyal. In this case, I think that women, we are loyal to some brands when it comes to, you know, makeup, right? So the satisfied buyer in this case is the type of person that, you know, okay, I'm going to buy, for example, a cover girl right today but if they don't have i mean i'm going to buy another one i'm not going to look for another place where they may have cover girl right i'm okay so they don't have i'm going to switch brand again right they don't make any effort to seek out the uh usual brand that they buy yeah so those are the satisfied buyers yeah the, yeah so then we also have the other type of buyers, yes, uh, which are the satisfied buyer with, with switching costs. Yeah. So, Tony, help us reading this. Okay. Satisfied buyers with switching costs. Cost. Mm -hmm. These buyers are happy with their brand, but mainly stick with it because of variety that makes a change less attractive. Those barriers can include the time required to switch, monetary cost, or feeling that a change requires making quality concession. But if those barriers are met, the buyer might switch, like at the previous level, they are not necessarily passionate about the brand they buy. Uh -huh. Barriers. Uh -huh. Yes, barriers. Mm -hmm. Yes. In this case, these buyers, they are happy with the brand, right? In, but the, in, the, middle, in, in the, the middle. In the middle. In the mm -hmm. middle. Okay. So, yeah, you are like reaching the, the, the top, right? So, in this case, they are happy. But, okay, it says, right, is because they may have some barriers, right? Maybe the price, okay? Maybe the, the effort to switch brands. Maybe the processes, right? Uh -huh. They are happy, but if those barriers are met, the buyer might switch, okay? If they decide to, I mean, if they get a different job, right, if they get more money, they are going to switch, of course, because they are not satisfied, okay, with, um, like in, a, in the whole context with the product. There is something that um, maybe prevents them to switch brand. And this happens a lot, guys, when it comes to... Um, Sometimes with internet services, that happens a lot, sometimes, yeah? So let's see. Then we also have the brand likers. These type of customers, yes, the brand likers. Carlos, can you please help us reading this? Okay, the brand likers. This level is the transition point at the at which the buyer is uh, passionate about the brand, a true brand enthusiast. Mm -hmm. Their affinity for the brand is based uh, primarily in emotion. Mm -hmm. In fact, that that means in a lot of cases, a buyer at the as this level of the, the pyramid can clearly art articulate why they like the brand so much. They just do. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So in this case, the brand likers, right? This is one of the highest uh, you know, uh, points on the pyramid, right? In this case, this uh, customer, right, is based primarily in emotion. Mm -hmm. They are going to think a lot, right, to actually buy a different brand. And, um, they probably won't even think of switching, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the brand lifers. Mm -hmm. And we have the top of the pyramid, which most of the companies, right, want their customers to be in that place, the top. And those are the committed buyers. The committed buy buyers, right? comprometidos with the brand but why uh, can you please help us reading this information eh, Carla uh, commu <laughs> committed yes. buyers yes committed at this level the brand plays an active role in the buyers day to day life mm -hmm. And the buyer is proud of their association with the brand, uh, the brand identi identity of the product fits closely with the buyer's personal values. Mm -hmm. And a smart brand will reward, reward, reward. This, this buyer with loyalty perks to ensure its two-way relationship. It's a two-way relationship. Very good. Thank you. All right. So the committed buyers, right? In this case, is that type of uh, customer, right? That loves to buy a, a specific brand. If you are the type of customer, you won't change brands. You won't. And of course, you will have uh, this type of perks, this type of rewards from the company. Wow. Because the company, uh, sometimes they want to ensure it's a two-way relationship. A two-way relationship, obviously, is that uh, you are the customer, so you actually buy and they give you something back, right? In this case, some perks or rewards. Mm -hmm. A two-way relationship. Yes. So in this case, guys, um. In conclusion about this pyramid, okay, we have all of the stages, right? So we have, in this case, switchers, which are at the low place. Then we also have the satisfied or habitual buyers, the satisfied buyers with switching costs, the brand likers, but uh, the companies look for committed buyers. That is the main goal of many companies, committed buyers, right? So it says that the goal of businesses is to move customers up the loyalty pyramid, of course, because that is the goal. All of us, we start here. Whenever you buy a new product, we start here because you have the, um, the possibility, right, to change. If you don't like the brand, so you just change and buy something else. So then we also have, from switchers to committed buyers. By providing excellent products, outstanding customer service, all of these play actually play a really important part whenever you um, probably go up and up and up, right? Sometimes if you don't feel good, right? If you have bad customer service, yeah, so you, you switch. Mm -hmm. So building a strong customer relationships and fostering Loyalty can lead to increased customer retention, higher customer lifetime value, and positive brand reputation. So those are the type of buyers that we have, guys. Okay, let's move. And now let's talk about the information that we have on the book. Okay. 
So in this case, we have building vocabulary first, and it says that the following words describe the stages that customers go through as they build loyalty to a brand, product, or organization. Well, it says that we need to match the stages to their corresponding descriptions, but I have given you the answers already. So help us reading number one, um, Carla, number two. Well, Carla, help us reading everything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I read the number and and the definition. Yes. Okay. Advantage. Uh, customer are beginning to associate the brand with their emotions and with their sense of self. Mm -hmm. Number two, presency. Presence. Uh, uh, presence. Uh -huh. Customers are aware aware of your brand, but little else. Uh -huh. Number three, bonding. Uh -huh. uh, consumers have determined the cause, advantage, and performance are all at levels that they are happy with. Uh -huh. with Number four, re relevance. Customers start to think about whether the brand meets their wants and needs. Uh -huh. And number five, performance. Uh -huh. Customers begin comparing the brand with others to see whether and delivers on its potential. Okay, guys. So we have uh, some definitions in this case. Maybe the one that is kind of new for you is going to be bonding. What is the meaning of bonding? Bonding means um, like como un vínculo emocional. Bonding. Okay. In this case, bonding, remember that those are stages. Okay. So bonding, um, it is vínculo emocional, afectivo. So at this level, consumers have determined that cost, advantage, and performance are all at levels that they are happy with, mm -hmm. okay? So based on those um, terms, okay, based on those terms, we have this information from the book, yes? And it says on the book, order the stages of brand loyalty in the pyramid, okay? So in this case, um, we have the top, which is going to be bonding. Yes, this is the top of the pyramid, according to the book. Yes. Then we also have advantage, performance, relevance, and presence. If we go right here, remember, we start at the bottom with presence. So presence, in this case, it is customers are aware of your brand, but little else. So they don't know, yes, about the brand. I mean, they are aware of the brand, but they haven't bought it. Yes, presence. So then we also have relevance. Okay, let's go back. Relevance. Customers start to think about whether the brand meets their wants and needs. Yeah, then we also have performance. According to the definitions, performance, customers begin comparing the brand with others to see whether it delivers on its potential. Yeah, and then we also have advantage. Look at this. And it says that advantage, customers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotions and with their sense of self. They start creating that, you know, emotion. Yeah. And we also have the top, which is bonding. And at this stage, which is bonding, the consumers have determined that cost, advantage, and performance are at all levels that they are happy with. So that is the top of the pyramid according to the book. 
okay? This is loyalty pyramid. There are many ways, okay, guys? There are many loyalty pyramids, okay, that you can take a look at, right? So in this case, we have one from the book and we also have one from an external resource. So you can have more information. You can identify the stages. You can have more vocabulary, okay? Now, let's move and let's work on this, okay? It is your turn. So I would like to hear, okay? It says, think of a brand you are very attached to and one to which you are familiar but not attached. Yes? Then use the descriptions of the brand loyalty pyramid to identify where in the pyramid you are in respect to these brands. Yes? Let's use the analysis questions as a reference. So we have, those questions, okay, for you to answer, okay, um, with, uh, with a brand that you are attached to, this one, you have the heart right there. And you have on the right, you have this one, okay. For a familiar brand, but you are not attached to. Yes, I'll give you a couple of... Um, Two minutes for you to think, okay? We're not going to work on teams right now, okay? I will ask you, just think about it, okay? Think about one brand that you are attached to that you really love and let me know where in the pyramid you are and one that you like but you are not that attached to. And let me know in which stage of the pyramid you are. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, I got it. Okay. Okay, Tony. Okay, think about brands, guys. It could be a food. It could be clothing. It could be appliances. Whatever you, you actually love. But teacher, in the in the vote case, um, oh, let me re re remake the the sentence. Um, in the left side with the her, mm -hmm. you will describe only the proofs that you are strongly attached. Yes. And the, and the right hand with the thumb up, you are describing only the the proofs that you are not so strongly or not so. Um, attached to. Uh -huh. Is a uh, regular attached or or just a familiar regular attached? You are not okay. that attached okay. to. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let me ask. Um, okay, who finished? Nobody. Okay, I'll give you one minute. Okay.
Okay. Yes. Good evening. Maris, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I can uh, I I say a number. Okay. Plan. Yes, of course. Go. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess the product is Nivea antitranspirant deodorant. Okay. Uh, How long have you been a customer of that uh, brand? Uh, 10 years. 10 years, okay. Yes. And can you tell me what are three features you love of that brand? Tell ah, me, yes, three uh, things. Uh, the price. The price, okay. Quality. Quality. Uh, uh, what do you say, duración? Oh, that it is long lasting. Long lasting. Yes. Yeah. Would you recommend it? Yes, of course. Okay. And would you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefits from that brand? <laughs> this moment, I pay more. <laughs> okay. All right, Maurice. Okay. okay, now give me an example, Maurice, of a brand that you are not attached to, but you like. Uh the other the other brand? Yes, the other one. Mm. Uh uh the the product is uh Raul Lauren. Okay. Polo. Okay. And okay, how long have you been a customer of that brand? Uh maybe two years. Okay. Are you satisfied with the brand? Yes. Okay. I'm satisfied. Okay. Would you recommend it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, Maris. Now because uh the price, the price, the price is very expensive. Okay, so that means that you won't be willing to pay more to enjoy yeah. more benefits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Maris. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye. All right. Somebody else that finished. Okay, so I'm going to ask. All right, so um, is, let me see. Is Vladimir here? No. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Oh, Vladimir, can you tell us about a brand that you are uh, attached to, that you love? And then Tony. Repeat, teacher. Yes. Because can, can you tell us about a brand that you are attached to? Tell me a brand that you love. I don't understand, teacher. Uh, okay, so we um can you look at the screen? Yes. Okay. So we are developing right now this activity right so you need to think about a brand that you are attached to in a brand that you are familiar but not attached to so in oh, order yeah. to, uh -huh, one brand that you love 
and another brand that you just like? Uh, in my case, what brand I love? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. In anything, for example, Nike? Nike? And how long okay. have you been a customer of that brand? Okay, how long do you... Uh-huh. How uh, long? Um, how long? Yeah, it could be uh five years, twelve years, twenty years. Ten years. Ten years. And what are three characteristics that you love of that brand? Comfortable shoes. Uh -huh. uh, the style is very nice. Okay. And the price. Okay. Would you recommend? You would you recommend that brand? Yes, I recommend the brand. And would you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefits from that brand? Are you willing to pay more? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you mean willing? Si estaría dispuesto. Willing. Uh, okay. Yes, you will be willing yes. to pay more. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vladimir. Tony. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, how long have you been a customer of Claro brand? Okay, Tony. <laughs> for okay. Doing and counting. Okay. Um, three feature um that I love of this brand. Well, um <laughs> It's so difficult for me to, to decide what, but uh, I think that the, the signal of the cable, okay. the velocity of the internet, and okay. the price about the combo, internet, telephone, and and uh, television, and cellular phone. In, in okay. Space mode. Okay. Uh, Would you be willing to pay more, to enjoy more benefits from the kind of brand? Yes, of course. I did it a few months ago. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. And that um, a brand that I am not so strong or familiar, familiarity or familiar. Familiar? Familiar. Um, maybe is with the Sula milk. Um, mm. In our house, we uh drink um the the slack the lactose the lac no the lactose of milk okay but the 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 brand most preferably uh, in in our family is the lactomy but mm -hmm. for the affordable price is sula milk mm. uh, and and this is the, the the option if the price are similar or or uh, a few cents no more than five or ten Sense uh, uh -huh. with the lactomy, but the, the Sula is a good option. Um, I am satisfied with the brand, yes, of uh -huh. course, uh -huh. and I uh, will to recommend the brand, yes, of course, too. Uh, would you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefits? Um, in this case, maybe it's the same that the other if the price is uh, um, and the price is upper. Uh, that the, the lactomy or equal, I prefer the another. And, and in this case, mm -hmm. uh, I will not to pay more for the enjoy the same benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Okay. Awesome. All right. Um, somebody else that wants to share? Mm -hmm. No, okay. Well, let's move. Okay, let's continue, guys. All right, so we're going to move to the reading time. Yes, we are going to take up uh, two reading quizzes, and those are short, okay? Very short. Um, 
we have the first um email okay i'm going to send the uh, the link okay so you are able to open it mm. okay so there you go and the passcode is reading capital letters okay reading capital letters so basically guys this is a reading um quiz right it is simple but you need to read carefully okay remember to first understand the question okay we just have uh two questions right there yes i'll give you five minutes okay Teacher. Yes. Good evening, teacher. I need your help. What is the answer for the 2.2 .2, little five? 2.2? And uh, question number five. The is the same the, the Tony asked. Oh yes, it is. Uh I'm going to send it to you. Okay, give me one second. Let's put my shampoo. Two point two. Um what are the four piece? Yes. And let me get it for you. Give me one second. Well, I work in path for teach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So let me see. 2.2. 2.2. Two. 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 Right. Oh, yes. Let me see. The... Number five. Yes. It is. Okay, it is product price. Product with S. No, without S. Coma, product, coma. Yeah. Products. Without S, okay. Coma, okay. price, coma. Yeah. Place, coma. Yeah. Promotion. Promotions. Mm -hmm. It's not okay. working. Products price. Without S. Yes, product? product with us without without S. Price place promotion. Yes, but you need to you have commas. You need the space after after coma or yes. before no after after okay okay i got juan jose okay very thank good. you teacher. okay very good juan jose
Okay. This reading is more difficult because I don't know how the means of different words. Words. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And and they use technical description to to something that like I that if I I am a customer I don't identify or um I don't know if the um, the other person that I read uh understand very well the the, the colloquial or the technical language. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in this case um hotline means una línea directa okay línea directa hotline okay uh -huh. we had not realized that calls were taking so long to connect well uh -huh. okay what is the meaning of a glitch? What is a glitch? That happens a lot in um, communication. Sorry. Maybe it's not a synonym of problem. Uh -huh. Yes. Issue. Yes. It is like saying um, un fallo yeah. técnico. Uh -huh. technical. Algo técnico. Technical. Uh -huh. Something that is. Uh, not working properly, but when it comes to technical things, right? Lines, calls, websites. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, okay. Now let's move to this one. Okay. I'm going to send the link. And let me get it. Okay, there you go. Um, let me see. This has, if I'm not mistaken, three questions. Pascal reading, capital letters. Yes, it has three. Uh, this one, it is more difficult, I think, than the previous one. Pay attention to the questions.
I fail in the first because yeah. in the um, in this part, uh, the first floor lobby offers security as employees and residents must scan their way through the security gates to the elevator behind. But in the second line, they mm -hmm. this and offers office space that are ideal for any company. Mm -hmm. This is the... The, 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 the answer interpretation exactly the, the correct interpretation yeah I, I think that when the document says that um offers a space for for uh for business and and for when for employees and and residents i think okay it's uh it's talking about the two options but yeah. the um, the ad is only for uh Company spaces or all Correct. spaces. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because they mention only the uh, for the first, second, and third floor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that is just a matter of interpreting the the whole idea, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because That's they it. don't say the, the 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 different levels upper the third floor. Correct. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Let me see if most of you finished. Yes, I, I can see that some of you fail on that one. Okay. On the first one. Okay, I think I think that most of you are done. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Let's move. Okay. And now let's work on the listening uh, quiz. Yes. Um. Okay. Let me get the link. Okay, there you go. That one is the one for listening. And the passcode is listening, capital letters. Listening. And let me know once you are ready so I can play the recording. I'm going to play this um, two times, okay? It's not that difficult. If you need an extra time, let me know. But you will see that it's easy. Okay, so here we go, guys. Hey, taxi. Ah, great. Thanks for pulling over. Where to? Well, I'm going to the National Museum of Art and... Sure. Hop in. No problem. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, how long does it take to get there? Well, that all depends on the traffic, but it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes for the average driver. Oh. And I'm not average. I have driving down to an art, so we should be able to cruise through traffic and get there in less than 12 minutes. Okay. Uh, sorry for asking, yeah? but do you have any idea how much the fare will be? Oh, uh, it shouldn't be more than $18, not including uh, <clears throat> a tip, of course. Oh. And by the way, do you know what time the museum closes? Well, I would guess around 6 o'clock. Oh, do you have the time? Yeah, it's half past 4. Thanks. Uh, this is your first time to the city, right? Yeah, how did you know? Well, 
you can tell tourists a mile away in the city because they walk down the street looking straight up at the skyscrapers. Was it that obvious? <laughs> well, uh, oh, before I forget, can you recommend any good restaurants downtown mm-hmm. that offer meals at a reasonable price? Mm, well, the Mexican restaurant La Fajita is fantastic. Oh. It's not as inexpensive as other places I know, but the decor is very authentic. Okay. And the portions are larger than most places I've been to. Sounds great. How do I get there from the museum? Well, you can catch the subway right outside the museum. There are buses that run that way, but you would have to transfer a couple of times. And there are taxis, too, but they don't run by the museum that often. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, the second time. Hey, taxi. Ah, great. Thanks for pulling over. Where to? Well, I'm going to the National Museum of Art and... Sure, hop in. No problem. Hang on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Excuse me. How long does it take to get there? Well, that all depends on the traffic, but it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes for the average driver. Oh. And I'm not average. I have driving down to an art, so we should be able to cruise through traffic and get there in less than 12 minutes. Okay. Uh, sorry for asking, yeah? but do you have any idea how much the fare will be? Oh, uh, it shouldn't be more than $18, not including uh, <clears throat> a tip, of course. Oh. And by the way, do you know what time the museum closes? Well, I would guess around 6 o'clock. Oh, do you have the time? Yeah, it's half past 4. Thanks. Uh, this is your first time to the city, right? Yeah, how did you know? Well, you can tell tourists a mile away in the city because they walk down the street looking straight up at the skyscrapers. Was it that obvious? <laughs> well, uh, oh, before I forget, can you recommend any good restaurants downtown mm-hmm. that offer meals at a reasonable price? Mm. Well, the Mexican restaurant La Fajita is fantastic. Oh. It's not as inexpensive as other places I know, but the decor is very authentic. Okay. And the portions are larger than most places I've been to. Sounds great. How do I get there from the museum? Well, you can catch the subway right outside the museum. There are buses that run that way, but you would have to transfer a couple of times. And there are taxis, too, but they don't run by the museum that often. Okay, thanks. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me see your scores, okay? Okay. Let me see. Um, yes, I think that on the one that most of you fail is on question number four. How much will the ferry be for the taxi ride, not including a tip? Mm-hmm. So fare, guys, means tarifa, okay? So I think that on that one, yeah, most of you fail on that one. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to uh, pass uh, attendance, okay? So give me one second. Okay, and so here we go. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Emerson? I think that he is there. Fatima Gabriela. Present teacher. Present, sorry. Oh, thank you. Jonathan Jose González. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Yes, I haven't seen George today. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. 
Present. Thank you, Kenia Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yes. Present, teacher. Yes, thank you. Mayra Cecilia. Well, Mayra was having some issues, I think. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Yes, I haven't seen Nelly today. Raul Antonio Jordán. Present. Yes. Eh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Yes, Wendy. Present. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Let's continue. And right now, we are going to move to a speaking. Okay. So we have a couple of questions to practice with. And we are going to start with the following. Okay. It says, guys, as we know, everyone has their own personality. And that is what makes the world such an interesting place. Some people are shy, whereas others are outgoing. Discuss the questions, okay, about personality with a partner. Yes? So we are going to start with the first three. Would you consider yourself to be introvert or extrovert? Is it important to have a similar personality and similar opinions to someone to be able to form a good relationship with them? Yes or no, what do you think? Are there any types of personalities that you really hate, that you don't like? Okay. And then we are going to move to this okay uh, we are going to practice a um, present perfect have you lived in more than one place in your life yeah are you a morning person or a night owl and why okay a morning person is that type of person that loves to wake up early right etc a night owl is that type of person that loves to stay up till late that you actually are not sleepy at night, that you can be till 3 a.m. doing different things and you are a night owl. You work better at night, okay? Are you punctual as a habit or no? Mm -hmm. Then we also have our computing skills necessary to get a job nowadays? Yes or no, why, why not? Do you prefer watching movies at home or in the cinema? Why? Mm, okay. Which is more important in a movie? The plot or the special effects and why? We're going to start with those. Okay. So let's practice speaking. Okay. Um, let me create the breakout rooms. Open the class, guys, so you can have the questions. Right? And let's move. Oh. No. <laughs> Sorry, Carla. <laughs> Let me move you, okay? Okay. Sorry, teacher. I am still working on the platform to, to complete the, the mid-turn. Okay. Don't worry. It's okay. I know a sleepy teacher. I I have I have flu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I, I I hear that you are kind of sick, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. Maurice is an extroverted person. <laughs> Wendy is an introverted person. Carlos Omar 
is an extrovert, but no so harder. And Emerson, I think that is extrovert too. Maybe I was wrong, but tell me. And me, my case, of I... course, extroverted. Because introverted. You are introverted, Carlos? Yes. Mm. Sometimes I I introverted. <laughs> I, I extroverted. It depends on the situation, <laughs> I think. Mm, well, in, in the in the classroom or right now, you're not an introverted person. Ah, Carlita is extroverted. Hello. No. Yes, <laughs> I consider a uh, extroverted person. What about you? Well, okay, in my case, I, I, I think that I am introvert because for me it's difficult to talk in public. For example, uh, to talk with an unknown person. Sometimes it's very hard, but when I I get the when how do you say confianza when I feel trust when I get the get confidence? confidence okay when I get the confidence I uh, it it is easier for me but at the beginning I I think it's difficult. Yeah. And is it important to have a similar personality personality and similar opinions to someone to be able to form a good relationship with them? Uh, okay, in my opinion, I consider uh, it doesn't matter about uh, another person think in my case, because I consider my opinion, it, it could be better or in my humble, humble opinion, but I don't I don't I don't I don't try to to get uh I, I don't know how to say that but I don't ha I try the to get maybe another opinion or give my own opinion but it doesn't matter if the uh, my opinion is similar to another person. I consider the relationship is not for for that. Just is a uh a humble opinion. Okay, I think um having similar personality it could help to make strong relationships, but at the end it doesn't matter if the personality are not the same or similar, but if they are similar, it helps a lot. And with the opinions, uh, I think um, opinions are better to be different because if, if you want to know a lot, you need to learn from other people. And having different opinions helps a lot to open your mind. I, that's what I think. Are there any types of personalities that you really hate? Okay, in my opinion, uh, to be honest with you, now I don't, I don't have any personality that I, that I hate. I consider every person has, uh, a personality, and you have to re be respect respectful, but. Sometimes uh, people are dif uh, people are different or think very different than you, but only you have to, or maybe don't care about it, or or only change the change the topic and talk to another thing. But if you pay attention to those kind of person, maybe you probably get a problem or inconvenience from those types of those type of people that consider you only need 
knew how to know how to no, you knew how to handle with that those type of people. I am agree with you, but uh, in my case, <laughs> I I I do uh feel uncomfortable with some personalities, for example, the egocentrism and rough people. I I I don't like that kind of personalities. Uh, if they don't try with me, uh, it doesn't matter. But um, for example, if I have a partner in my work with that personality, it is very difficult not to um talk with that person because it's my partner. It is he he or she is my worker. So in those cases, it is difficult. I I I know that you have to ignore that kind of personality, but sometimes it's difficult. Okay. Um have you lived in more than one place in your life? Okay, uh, not in my case. I haven't lived in another place. I'm twenty. I'm twenty four. Twenty four years old, and I've lived here since day born. But I would like to live in another, maybe in another place, because I consider here it could be a something hot, but something is cold. But I want to live in another place, maybe near to volcano. I consider it's a, a good a good weather and every single day. That's why I would like to live there. Nice. <laughs> um I have lived in many places but always near of the city so I don't know if that count but if it means about... yes near near of the series very important uh, for your jobs could be yes you can get uh... mm, I, I don't know because I have friends are interested interested and extroverted and we have a good uh, re relationship, friends, friendly. And because uh, I have a friend, they uh, he likes the party, he likes the drum, the dream, he likes to to dance. And I have another friend, uh, just most uh, uh, pacific. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the 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 communication is is good between us you will say something carlita i think no i think the extrovert a dog is introvert it makes friends depends on the relationship uh, yes uh, mike is similar with Cal carlos because mm -hmm. I have friends, many extroverts, and I have friends introvert and in we are good friends. <laughs> yes, yes, it depends. It depends. I think mm -hmm. that when you go to talk with something and you will make a relationship, a different type of relationship, uh, maybe in the work or in with the partners or with the friends, you only need a few terms or a few, a few um, topics that you are... I don't have any problem with living in another place. 
that thing. I, uh, that's what I think. Okay. Okay, and are you a morning person or a night owl? owl? Okay, in my case, I consider a night owl. Uh, because I love, I love to uh, sleep a lot. So I consider wake up very early is very... Uh, how to know how to, how to say cansado I don't remember tiring tired uh -huh. yes it's very tired uh, nowadays in my job I job between 7 a.m. and 4 4 p.m. and I have to to wake up in my uh, to wake up every day at 4 4 and a half I consider it's very tired but only how only work for two weeks in 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 that schedule and the third week of the month i i work in between 9 a.m and 6 a.m and i love that uh that schedule because i sleep uh more than two hours because i i think in the morning is a lot of traffic so in in I live near to San Salvador, but in the Cabalapa highway is very difficult in the morning. That in my case I hate the traffic. So I consider that's why I I prefer to to sleep a lot and I consider a night old person. Hmm. I I think, uh, I think I I I am both sometimes. Um, I always wakes up early, and I am not talking when I going to work. I am talking in week on weekends, so I grab. I think that. I have more time to do many things, but at the same time, <laughs> I am an owl person because I I like to do the days longer. So I sleep a few hours, maybe five, four. So I, I, I think I am both. Yes, and when you wake up very early, uh, maybe five? Um, on Thursday or maybe on Friday, you would have want to work. <laughs> um, oh, I I don't know because but... you feel very tired. <laughs> now in my case, yes, when I woke up, I wake up very early, maybe between Monday and Wednesday, no problem. Uh, I I wake up very, very early, and no problem. But on Thursday or maybe on Friday, I don't want to work because I feel very tired. And that is that's why I consider uh, a <laughs> night old person. I I feel tired at around eleven, maybe ten a.m. But at lunch I sleep um, forty five minutes, so I recharge my battery, <laughs> and I I I start to work uh late with full energy so i can keep awake uh until um 12 a 1 a.m okay amazing okay the last one are you punctual as a habit okay in my case yes i consider a big punctual it's a good habit in wherever place, even with your friends or in your job. I consider being punctual is very important because, uh, for example, when I uh, went uh, I go out with my friends, uh, and maybe we ha I, I have different friends for uh, different places. So, for example, we find in different at Metro Center, for example. 
uh, and and I feel uh, angry when when someone arrive very late and uh, what the fuck with that person so and obviously in your goal you have to be very, very and, uh, uh -huh. like, and uh if I I hypocrisy what do you say hypocrisy hypocrisy if Hypocrisy I, or hypocrisy? hypocrisy? Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. I don't like these people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because all the time they are lying. Yeah. The lies I don't like. Okay. Personas okay. me que mienten. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so disgusting to talk with them because you don't know when when it's true or when it's false that he he talk about it mm -hmm. okay i don't like the the people in in puntual <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. it's a good it's a good description of person that i i really uh, discuss the that i discuss Disgusting, this disgusting, disgusting me, disgust, this that cheap, ya me trabé, me disgusta, no lo pongo, ya me, ya me trabé, me disgusta, disgusta, I dislike, no es disgusting, that I dislike the impuntual person and the people that likes that that like uh, at every word that they say. Okay, okay, it's so interesting. Estamos tijereando a los demás. Okay, sigamos. <laughs> uh, okay. Have you been in more than one place in your life? Oh, 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 oh sorry. Maybe uh, something more, uh, some, something else uh, going to, to explain another type of personality. Yes or no? No. What do you say? No. Okay. Are you living in more than one place in your life? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. In a, a depend depend because um, I live I live in Usuluta. The day I transport in. Uh, San Salvador. Uh, but you don't live in you don't live in El Sa in San Salvador. You live in the Sultan on only for uh, no. Vivi uh, ahí. Ah, uh, you live in San Salvador. Yeah. When I when I when I have a study in Uca, I translate. Ah, okay. San Salvador. How long time do you live in, in San Salvador? Oops. I have uh, for 40 years. 40 años. Yes. 40 años in San Salvador. In San Salvador. And you born in San Salvador or in Solotela? No, in La Unión. <laughs> okay. I, I grow I grow in Usulutan. You born in La Union, you born in Usulutan, and you live for a study and for other thing more yeah. in San Salvador. Okay. And you go back I make to, to Usulutan. I make my life. I, I make my life in San Salvador with my uh -huh. family. And actually you right now where where do you where do you live right now in san salvador in san salvador ah okay okay you decide to move totally to san salvador to to live okay okay and you tony um if you name it a, a department this is only in san salvador um because i born here i 
grow here. Uh, maybe, uh, well, uh, um, for when I burn to I to, to the 25 years that I decided to 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 have a family and um, como se dice me casé. I was married in at uh, 25 years. I changed my 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 home. Uh, all the all the time I live in the house of my parents in Ciudad de Merliot, in La Libertad. Uh, when I was married, I changed my direction, my direction and my 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 house to Mexicanos, San Salvador, mm -hmm. and that's all. But but uh, I I like to say that I was born in Chelatenamico because my mother I was born there and okay. and because uh, I live all my not 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 live I enjoy my my holidays all my holidays in in La Palma Chelatenango in the place oh. that my mother born and because my 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 cousins cousins son primo verdad Yes. Yeah, my cousins and all my family uh, is in in La Palma, Chalatenango, and and yeah, every um, two weekends we we um, um, um voy a get, no, uh, we travel to to La Palma uh, to pass all the weekends or the holidays, and 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 it's so funny, and and in my best. Um, um, re, no sé si es recuerdos my best records or my no best my 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 best memories my best yeah. memories are yeah. are forged or or uh, are made in in La Palma Chilatenango oh are are made or were made, are made. okay are made in Chilatenango mm -hmm. en Carlita okay <laughs> I live only in San Miguel but I work in Santiago de María. Santiago de María. In Sulutan. In Sulutan. Yes, but, but was I live what? I live in San Miguel since I was baby. <laughs> okay. You're still baby, Carlito. You. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I don't you. Think so. Are you cafe, 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 No, pero no cafe, 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 I got, I was, ah, I, I was married. I I got was, married. Uh -huh. When I got married, uh -huh. yes. Married. Okay. I got married. Okay. A la fuerza, no. <laughs> <laughs> mentira, mentira. Felizmente casado. <laughs> okay. Cuatro más. Okay. Don Carlos. I was, I was born at home and uh, I live always uh, in the same place Ciudad Arce you born in your house yes in my mom house Portera? yes oh my gosh <laughs> and I I live in for 35 years old here in the same place Ah. Um, partera, mi, uh, partera midwife. midwife 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 yes una partera midwife this is not for me this is yeah. new for me uh -huh. uh, you live in the house of your parents Carlos right now yes still <laughs> okay yeah. and you got married no maybe next year Okay, okay, okay. You, and you are invited. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and when you, when you got married, 
when you get married, um, you decide to move to another place in San Salvador or you build a house in the same place because in, in, in Ciudad Delgado, um, so many people have a, a, a huge terrain. I don't know if the correct way to say terreno. I, I don't like it. The, yeah. I don't like it. The city for living. I I live in the. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice el campo? Dice? The countryside. countryside. Um, like terreno, a, a piece of land. A piece of land. Yes, a piece of land. Uh, we have a piece of land in Zapotitan, and I hope move there. To mm. Zapot from Ciudad Delgado to Zapotitan. Oh my gosh. No, I, I live in Ciudad Arce. Zapotitan is part oh, sorry. of Ciudad, in Ciudad oh, oh, I was confused. Okay, okay. It's near, near, near. It's near uh, to, to, to Zapotitan. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, it's a good option. Because I don't like uh, the city to live. I don't like the 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 smog, the the color. <laughs> um, Ciudad Arce and Zapotitan are are a hot sun, I think. But if you have more forests around your house. Is very yeah. more comfortable, but is a uh, uh, hot sun in 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 the La Libertad, maybe Tamanique, Tepecoyo, eh, um, Sacacoyo is when it's more higher, it's more fresh, but but uh, it depends that the, the feeling of the of of the of the near place or or the or the country, no, the, como dijo la teacher? Uh, the piece of land? No, no. Uh, como country style? Con country style, country style, okay. Oh, no, countryside. Ah, uh, countryside, okay. Yes, countryside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Are you a morning person or a night owl? And why? I remember that Carlita is a night old girl. Sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> but I have a sleepy all day. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel a sleepy all day. So yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think I work better in the night. Work better. Mm. <laughs> I choose the night for work only when I have a, a, a presentation or when I have more. Uh, 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 um, when I have trabajo atrasado. Um, Mm, late work. <laughs> uh, when late. I have uh, too much work or, or I have many pendings, but uh, um, you can say backlog. Back. Backlog. Backload. Back the espalda. <laughs> Backload. Okay. Yes, log like L O G. Backload. Ah, como carga de. Um, <laughs> Uh -huh. When I have um, back back the road. but only in, in in this moment I I I I have to or I need to work late at late, hmm. but I prefer uh, be a morning people and so punctual because I need to to show. Um, to, I need to just to show example. Necesito ser ejemplo. I need to show. Uh, I I need to be an example of the work. And if I um recall punctuality, I need to show punctuality. If I um 
I want uh, that the people are um, responsible. I I need to show responsibility, and but, but this is my 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 way to to be. But not all the person act at the same form. And you, Carlos, okay. and you, oh, este, um, in, uh, my, in my case, uh, I uh, am a morning, per I, uh, a morning person uh -huh. because uh, I like the sunrise, uh, the thinking of the beer, and mm -hmm. I like to be at work mm -hmm. early. Yes, I work best, best in the morning. Mm -hmm. Only Carlos. And you, Carlos? I am morning people. I am morning person. Uh, in in my rest days. In my on my days off. In my day off, uh, I always uh, wake up. 6 a.m. to take a coffee and and to and to make uh, activities early. Okay. So yes, you are more. It is more productive when you give up or, or when you get up early. Okay. And you will make many activities and mm -hmm. and days more more productive or more long. Longer. Ah, longer. Is it more long or, or the day is longer? The, the day, day is longer. Mm -hmm. It feels longer. Is there uh, uh, any expression about uh, se aprovecha el día? <laughs> yes. Um, uh, yes. Uh -huh. A productive day. Um, we take advantage of the day. Mm. Let me see. Yes, it's fun. Uh, we also can say fruitful day. Do you remember that I sent a post about that? Uh, yes, yes. Like productive fruitful mm -hmm. fruitful yes a fruitful day yes i think all are you punctual as a habit yes always i am i am punctual so punctual and i i, I, I hate the people in punctual <laughs> I'm <laughs> punctual. I'm punctual. I'm punctual. Me too. Me too. And you, Tony? Um, I'm. Uh, I'm recognizing that I. Uh, I have a. Uh, customers. No sé si es costumbre dicho así, like a German or a British. That I like to be so punctual in all. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. But. But, 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 um, a veces caigo mal por eso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tony. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right, guys. So, okay. Well, we are done for today. Okay, uh, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, guys. Thank you very much for connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay, so rest and I'll see you back tomorrow. Goodbye, guys. Take care. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, Miss. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.